Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be style secrets that every woman should know. I'll be touching on things that help me out when getting dressed and hopefully you'll get something out of this video. Hopefully this will help you improve your look quickly. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. As always, I am Naomi Boyer. If you're new here, welcome. If you make it to the end of this video and you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram for daily outfit inspirations. I am just Naomi Boyer, and let's get to the video. All right, my first style secret is to understand length. So if you're looking for length or to elongate your body, a pointy toe or nude shoe will definitely help you do that. Nude shoes in general always elongate your body and give you the illusion of longer legs. Because they are a nude shoe, they're not gonna cut you off like something harsh, like a black shoe would. Also, understanding lengths when it comes to jeans, for example, a high-waisted jean will always give you the illusion of longer legs. Now, I'm a big advocate in tucking in your shirts at all times. I just think it looks more put together and more polished, but if you're a girl that doesn't like to tuck in your shirts and you must wear a shirt untucked, make sure your shirt is not too long for your body because it could cut you off in all the wrong places. Just make sure the length is right and proportionate. All right, my second style secret is to make sure you choose the right undergarments for wearing under your clothes. So it is 2018, so many companies out there have become so innovative in what they make when it comes to undergarments. I feel like there has to be something for everybody and for everything that you're looking for when it comes to that department. For example, when it comes to tighter dresses, I'm always weary and a little bit uncomfortable to wear them just because I like to eat and I'm always concerned about my tummy, but there's Spanx for that. And I know a lot of people always double up on their Spanx, sometimes even triple up, but Spanx is a great way to smoothen out any Thing that you're concerned with. Now when it comes to strapless bras, there are really good companies out there that cater to all types of boob shapes and bra necessities and concerns that you're looking for. So if the type of bra is a concern to you, I have a video talking about the best strapless bras. I'll also link some of my favorite brands below. Some of my favorite ones are Wacol, Calvin Klein, Fine Lines, and there's just a lot out there that you can choose from just do your research. It'll also help to go into a department store yourself and talk to a specialist. All right, my next tip is to learn to have a good eye for shopping. Now I know that doesn't come so easily to some of you. I have definitely learned how to shop just because I know what I like, but some people don't really know what is good for them or what they even like or what they should be buying. I think my first sub tip for this category would be to learn how to distinguish cheap from inexpensive. I mentioned this in a previous video. Um, there is a big difference between cheap and expensive. Cheap is just the way I feel like something looks. Inexpensive can be an item that isn't too pricey, but that still looks really good for how much it was. I think it's always a plus and always such a steal when you can find items that are inexpensive because you're getting the best of both worlds. But also in order to be a good shopper, you should learn what's best for your body shape. Again, I will link different things that you can read up on. Um, there are a lot of things on Pinterest that they have as guides to show you what you should be wearing, what will complement you and your certain body type. And my last and final important tip when it comes to learning how to have a good eye for shopping is to purge your closet every six months or so. Now this may take some time and effort, but it's worth it. This is one of the best ways that I learned how to have a good eye to shop, what kind of things that I should and shouldn't buy, and how to figure out what's worth my money and what's not. Now the reason why I'm a big advocate of purging your closet every so often, at least twice a year, is because you start to see a pattern of the things that you end up donating or throwing away. And so once you've seen that you have thrown so many of the same type of clothing away, then you'll probably stop and learn to know that you shouldn't buy any more of that clothing. Now if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that by purging, I've learned that I always throw away things with pattern and so I've learned to scale back on buying things with pattern and only buy patterns that I absolutely love. So try purging your closet every couple months and see what you end up with and then you'll learn a lot about your buying habits. You learn about the things that you love, that you keep versus the things that you seem to always get rid of and get over really quickly. All right, my next tip and style secret is to dress up even if you're just running errands or running to the grocery store. Now I know this might seem crazy to some of you, but I don't know about you, I like looking cute no matter where I go, even if it's to the gym or to the grocery store or running errands. 
I like to at least feel like I look cute because that's just gonna give me my overall mood for the day even if I'm in a bad mood at least if I feel like I look put together I'll feel a little better about myself I think at least having this mindset will keep you in that habit and then sooner or later you'll get used to it and then sooner or later dressing up will be a lot easier because you're already used to doing that subject to that is don't wear sweats in public a lot of you may agree with me but the reason why I say to try to avoid that at all costs is because I think we can get really easily caught in that little sweats trap it's just so comfortable and you can just throw it on and that is great I think sometimes you just there are days when you just have to do that but for the most part if you can try to have sweats as not your go-to then I think you're in a good situation not to say there's anything wrong with sweats I love wearing sweats I myself am guilty of wearing sweats out but at the same time that's when I'm always second-guessing myself before I'm about to exit the car I'm always like oh my god why did I wear this so just always put effort even if it's just a little bit because a little bit will go a long way all right my next tip and next style secret is to buy pieces that stand out this will make dressing up a lot easier for example if you buy and purchase a really nice standout jacket whether it's a blazer some type of moto or leather jacket a really cute cardigan if you have any great outerwear piece that stands out you can just wear basic items underneath it you can throw on a camisole and jeans look super basic but once you throw on that extra third piece that stands out it almost is like a 360 it's a completely new outfit you didn't have to do too much work and you look great Fall is coming up, that is a great way to practice this. All right, my last and final tip is when it comes to dresses, go for pieces that have something in the middle and at the end. I don't know about you, but I never used to be a dress girl because I always felt like dresses were just too plain or there wasn't enough separation or maybe I was showing too much and I was uncomfortable. A lot of times I felt too basic and maybe a dress was a little too tight. That's why I usually like wearing two pieces because you have some separation between the top and the bottom it accentuates your waist a little bit so if you're like me when it comes to dresses you think they're cute but when you put it on you're just concerned maybe it doesn't do much for you and you're wanting to know how to wear a dress and feel cute and comfortable and like it's not too plain and not too basic then go for pieces that have something in the middle and at the end for example what I mean by go for dresses that have something in the middle is go for dresses with a cinched waist or go for dresses with a tie waist or go for wrap dresses or add a belt to any plain dress adding something to the middle of a dress will just kick that dress up a notch It'll help give you that separation that you feel like maybe you're missing and it's also something that will help accentuate your waist which I think everyone loves as for dresses that have something at the end a ruffle hem is a good example of that so even if the dress doesn't have anything in the middle maybe you don't have a belt that will go in the middle of that dress if the hem of the dress has something different whether it's a flare hem a ruffle hem a peplum hem maybe it's a high low dress that'll immediately help alleviate that situation again it's going to give that dress more life kick it up a notch just help that dress not be so plain all right you guys that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you want to see more videos like this one give me some video ideas if you made it this far and you like what you see please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below don't forget to hit the notification bell as well that way you never miss out on any videos like this one follow me on instagram i'm just Amy boyer and i'll see you in my next video